All right, anyone that's bought one of these wigs, the crochet, sensational crochet braid type wigs, um, I'll give you the name in a minute, but as you can see, this is how it comes. It comes with a lot of um, open spaces. And I'm working in my bathroom, as you can see my tub and all. But anyway, um, you see all these open spaces that come in this wig. See all of that? So, and then also, I have a very small head, so the cap is really big. So what I'm doing now is filling in the gaps. Um, I got this on sale at Wig Types for $9.99. So I figure if I'm gonna play with a wig, I might as well pay $9.99 and play with it. So I went ahead and I bought this. And what I did was I took a straight weaving needle. I don't know if you can see that, but I took a straight weaving needle and um, hair weaving needle. And I just took it and I knotted it and I just kind of weaved it through and pulled these together because number one, the cap is too big for my head. And number two, it's just too many open spaces. Um, it does shed quite a bit. Let's see if I can show you. Sheds quite a bit because um, the crochet braids are not tight in there. Maybe difficult to see this, but they're not very tight. They're very loose. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the crochets are loose. They go around and then the second tie, very, very loose. So I'm just going to go back and take my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this down because I do not like a lot of shedding and um, in any wig I'm dealing with or wearing. So I'm going to go through and do that. Um, it appears to be full. It has that urban bush babe look, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted something really like this so that the texture of the hair it doesn't tend to sh it doesn't tangle as much as the hair that um i have in a wefted synthetic wig it tangles quite a bit and i have to keep messing with it and trying to get it not to tangle uh, but in this one it doesn't tangle as much kind of tangles about as much as if we blew uh if we blow dried our own hair so, when I say own hair, natural black hair. Right, so. All right, so I'm going to attempt to fill some of these in. And again, I pulled these together with this, uh, by sewing it. I don't know if you're going to even be able to see that, but that's what I did. So. And, um... I'm going to fill this in and I'll show you that in a few minutes, but right now I'm going to see this is still loose. I'm going to go back through and tighten it up some. And again, you might want to try it on your head before you do any of this to make sure that it's not too tight for you. My head is really small, so this will be perfect for me. All right, um, be back in a second and um, I'll just show you when I start to fill it in. All right, guys. Is that the end of the camera? This way. Trying to show you how I took this up. This is my other one. But this one, the knots are so easy to come out because they're not in very secure at all. So, gosh, I'm trying to get as close as I possibly can on this. I just take my comb and stick it into the knot. And it just comes out like that. It's, so, it's, it's not secure at all. I just hate when people manufacture or company manufacture wigs for us and they just do a really poor job on it and then they just expect us to buy it because that's what they're offering us so we need our own manufacturing plant for our own wigs and our own factories so 
Working on it. Y'all, I am working on it. Comes out so quickly and so easy, and this is how loose it is. And that's where the knot was, but it comes out like that, and then you have that little ripple, a wave right there. And um, and this spot here, as you can see, this is where I've taken out almost all of them that were there. And it wasn't that many there, but I've taken them out. Um, probably gonna take this one out because I just want you to try to get in close enough for you to see how loose this is. I haven't done anything to this. It's just loose like that. This is the part here that I have kind of sewn down because it was just too big for my head. And then I have all of this left. And what I'm going to do is just fill it in very lightly through here. And um, yeah, this is a hot mess, you guys. These braids are so loose. Look how easily they come up. They're so loose, it doesn't even matter. And they don't care. And they, I got this for $9.99, like you said, but they were originally selling these for like $147 or one, one something. And then they went down to $47, and then they went down some more. And now they're down to $9.99 because it's just a piece of crap that they're trying to sell us. So for $9.99, I figured I'd work with it because I wanted a long wig like this, and I didn't want to put in all of the work to make it um, like this. I love the Urban Bush Babe look. So um, this is perfect for me. And as I said, I'm gonna go through and sew um, the rest of these. I'm gonna go through and sew them down and try to salvage this wig. Again, $9.99 is no big deal but I'm going to salvage it and make it as nice as I can. And um, if it's salvageable, that's fine. Then I've got the Urban Bush Babe look without all the work. So, all right, just letting you guys see um, how I'm taking them out. And I'll show you in a little bit how I'm gonna put them back in. All right, guys. All right, this is where are you at? All right, yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is so wrong. Anyway, this is the, um, this is what, what, what's, what I'm doing now. Let's see, it's, I do the method where you don't see the knots, it's a knotless method or something, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, that's what I do. Especially in the top part, all the top part, I just do it that way. And um, so then you have this, is what you have. And I just take these strands, um, I'm going to go back through and fix all the, and, and I'm just going to go back through and do all of this whole section here because this is, I can't believe people would actually sell something to someone like this. But we'll buy anything. It appears. Well, maybe not because, and that's what the underside, I go to the top part of the braid and put it there. And then this one will be right up under the braid. For the next row then the other row will be at the top so but I'll show you um, there's another one out there that has curls in it that I want or I could just buy another one of these fix it and put the curls in it but we will see and crinkle it up and put the curls in it but I want it to look more of the Urban Bush Bait kind of thing, so I really don't want to do too much to it. So, and I guess this would be like a blow dried Urban Bush Bait. <laughs> anyway, and I also have another pack. It's not the exact color, I think it's a number two color, but it's pretty close. So, if I run out, I have a pack of the black and gold. I didn't, I didn't even know I still sell black and gold, but I found some at this store, so I have some black and gold. Um, Kanikalon hair that I can use if 
Um, Um, if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't work, if I don't have enough hair, if it runs out, that's what I'm trying to say, because I'm reading and looking at the same time. And this is, these are the braids that I pulled out. And what I'm doing is dividing this into two sections of hair, minimal. If it's a bigger piece, then I'm dividing it into, um, three sections of hair. But I'm dividing it into two sections of hair minimal and maybe three depending on how big it is and I am crocheting them into here so here we go my bathroom is a mess because I am doing hair in here so never mind how it looks and this is all my hair thingies you know so get out of my drawers and pay attention to what I'm doing over here with this hair guys all right I'll show you once I get across this row, and then I'll start my next row. Toodles! I'm back, and here is the progress we've made so far. Um, you know, when I first showed it to you, it was a hot mess. And now, um, this is after I put the crochet braids closer together and um, in this section here in the back. And made them smaller and it looks much better so um yeah i'll show it to you on i guess eventually right now i'm trying to hurry up so we can get to a dinner and a movie okay and that's it y'all it's like you know, wind blow, you're not going to be embarrassed. I got to close, right here, I haven't even finished all of this side here. But this side here is, is finished pretty much. So, especially through here, right here I haven't finished either. But right through here, it's pretty finished. So, and yeah, you're going to have a few gaps. But, let's see, it's mostly finished like right through here. And you can see the white parts that are in there. But it looks nowhere near as bad as it looked. And when you put on a dark cap underneath there or have your dark hair underneath there, I think it's going to look pretty good. I think it's going to look pretty good. All right. This is the wig that um, I had to fix and put all the uh, fill in the hair in the back and all because of the of the way that they manufactured it. It didn't come out too good, but I was able to fix it. And now it's looking pretty good. So just want to give you a final look. This is as far as my hands will go away from me. So <laughs> this is my best. <laughs>